Hey folks, welcome back to Forever Skies. This is Noble Rambler, and that is our goal right there. Let's see. No, nope, I can't scroll the wheel and get closer. There we are, the exclamation point. Right first, though, we've got to take out this, this wind farm. So let's pop in here and give us some altitude. Rain just started. In between episodes, I... Where am I at? Two, 245. This is a 244 deck. Um... I got on the deck gun and brought in all kinds of extra supplies and then slept and ate and drank and pretty much got us ready for this episode. So over there is nothing. Around here, let's see what we've got. Ah, uh, we've got a, a building to get into there with a battery port, which means it's going to be a, a bunch of... Can I jump that? I think I can. A bunch of... Ah, CPUs to gather in there. So what is in here? Over the top, crouch down, head in, underneath. There we go, that was an adventure. There, there, and a couple of these guys, which are really hard to get unless you've got the hand extractor. So I guess they're a loss. Let's get back to that little building and grab all those CPUs. Am I still crouched? I am. Alright, right there. And underneath, we've got a place over there and over there under to explore as well. Ah, there's a helium tank to grab over here. Uh, I can walk that safely. Nothing over here. Oh, there's a note. What do we got here? Depletion of the trash. This is our last shipment here. The lift we're operating on seems to have been completely plowed through. We don't even know if our last harvest will be useful to anyone for, for anything. If you see something here for yourself, take it without question. Uh -huh. So they were gathering supplies from somewhere and kind of consolidating the last of humanity's miscellaneous supplies to you know, make some use out of it understandable you two got something over here a bunch of machine parts a data card love those a wall lamp bent food and I went moth hunting so I've got several moths in the uh, battery in there in the uh, food storage box so things that we don't necessarily have to do on camera because we, we do it through a normal episode anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And sometimes there's even one over here somewhere, but not this time. So eight CPUs. They take a lot of parts to build from scratch, so it's good to find them in the wild. Quite expensive. Alright. Scanning above. I think we've got pretty much everything out of here. Alright, so we've been there, been there. We've got that down there. we got something potentially over there, which is best gotten to up through here. And then over the side. Ah, there's a battery too. Whoa! And use our handy knife to snap the chain and get inside and grab the battery. And too bad we can't do anything with this. That's just another machine part, as far as I'm concerned. Put you away. And nothing down there to get. But I don't think I can go back any other way. No. So we're going under. If you just carefully do this, you don't lunge as far forward each time. Crouch down, crawl to the second beam. And then drop, so you're not fighting that ladder to get around that last little spot. And almost forgot him. Okay, no more crouch. Up. What's left here? Been in there, in there, over here, around there. I think we're done. There's the spot right here on the side. Did that. Yeah, we're done. Now, how do I get back up? This one. Nothing else on the roof. 
over we go. Look at that wind. Yeah. Okay, so inside we've got some stuffs to dump off. I've got plans for redoing this airship, but it doesn't have to be done yet. We've got other things we want to do. We want to get down under the dust today. Um, that's over here. Dump you off. Next one is the more, a little bit higher end stuff. Um, and that is food. Okay. Food, I, I added another can or, or storage container over here. So food is here, water is there. And we've got water sitting out here whenever we need it, but we don't need it. Alright, we're heading for there. Anything else I need? I think I hit all the copper before I started the episode. Except for the two in there I couldn't get. Alright, let's do this. Up in the air. There we go. Now this requires us to get quite high. Do I need that fourth turbine? A turbine. It feels like I'm drifting. Like being pushed off to the right. Wind, I think that means it's coming out of there. If you look at the wind indicator in the corner there. And these guys hit, yeah, they'll do some damage. We'll see a white flash on the side of this of the screen if they actually damaged us. Let's go a little higher. Get above that, that junk stream there. Yep, right underneath. Good. So we're at 270. I can still go higher. I think I can hit 300. And we've got to get up to that deck right there. We'll get there just in time for a lightning storm, right? <laughs> Let's go to like 390. Whoa, hello. That'll puncture a balloon. Alright, so we can land here and walk all the way in, but I think I'm gonna see if I can. Well, I can't because the balloon's out there. If my cab was further forward, yeah, then I could actually park right up over there, but it's not, so let's go down. Don't see anything coming at us. I love this glass floor. Gotcha. Okay. And descent under the dust. And there are things to find down there. Gonna want to. Do we ever. Yeah, things detected. Did we ever make the crossbow? I don't think we did. Let me think about that. I played a little on my own, and that one I did make it. I don't think I made it here. You require machine parts, polymer, and metals. What do I even have in this thing? One polymer. Okay. I think I had planned on hitting another greenhouse long before we got to this place. It would be nice to do that, though. So let's... What was polymers? Was it plant oils or, or epoxies? And I want to say plastics or synthetics. Let's find out. Polymers, you. Uh, it is plant oil and synthetics. Let me make five of these and be right back. Okay, that should be the last polymer. Jump over to tools again, and there we go. Crossbow. Hopefully there isn't one hiding in here somewhere I didn't notice. No, no, and the only other miscellaneous is up front, and that should just be repair patches. Okay, so we don't have the crossbow yet. So what did I do to take down the little cricket in the greenhouse? Was that with a knife? Princess Must have been. It's been a while. Okay, got ourselves a crossbow. Now we need bullets. You are metals and synthetics. Mix five at a time, and... So some things the game has the finished product uh, graphics done, like the polymer and this uh, bolt right here. Other ones, it just prints a block, kind of a space holder, I figure. Eventually, they get that figured out. Anyway, R to reload. Nice animation. And it puts a permanent locked spot right here. Nope, and it's locked for good so long as we're holding this. So if I were to 
turn that off. And now we can move this around. Okay. So battery and that. Let's get rid of this guy. Uh, plastics. There we go. Okay. We'll fill up before we leave. Um, didn't need this. Though we are going to need some empty bottles. Although there are empty bottles there. That's right. Okay. It's quite an adventure we're about to go on to. I've... Uh, I did it some in another playthrough for myself when I was doing the renovations. There wasn't, I was too tired to record, too tired to, to make it entertaining, but I just played it on my own and just had some fun. So one more moth for when that goes down. We'll drink a, uh, two more of those. The moth is good for 40, so I don't have to go too far. Right about in there ought to be fine. So we can eat that on the way. Anything else that I need? We've got the knife, we've got the, the gun. There is an enemy in there, and I don't really need any repair parts, so let's clear up a space there. Though I don't know what I would be putting in that would fit down below here. I'll have to wait and figure that one out. We will be dealing with the oxygen tank finally for the first time in the series. So, food we've got with us, sleep. Let's get a little more sleep. There might be some running and jumping ahead of us, and be nice to have a little higher stamina. And that'll get our food down to the point that that we can uh, clear up this space. There we go. And leave the water alone. Let's get out of here before a storm starts up. But maybe next episode, I want to push this balloon forward as far as it will go. I want to bring this cap all the way forward so it's underneath the nose. So I can look up and see the stars from the cab. And then we'll just basically the same idea, but everything brought forward. It was a much longer bay of a, of, a, of a body here. And then I can put walls, every other one sticking out. One space in, one space in gives us a long central corridor and rooms along the side with cabinets and what have you. So there's, there are ways to make a real functional ship out of this and there's also ways to make a, a colossal behemoth of a ship if you wanted to two balloons on there seven or eight compartments wide some of the ships I've seen online they're, they're <laughs> frankly they're ridiculous you never come up with enough stuff to put into that space to make it worth it anyway this is the what we'll call the elevator the uh, the, the tower that the elevator right there that yellow dot goes all the way down to the surface and allows us to go under the dust there is nothing up above and around though there's a lot of uh, you know fun architecture around of something that you can imagine what it used to be and destroyed and compartments that I wish had something in them and you can go through and explore and find things but you know, kind of a half-life 2 sort of a cargo containers but not the case here Though we do have to connect power to the other end of this ridiculously thick wire <laughs> up there with this battery. So we can look at the message here and get that to work. But, yeah, it is what it is. I guess they didn't want you to miss that. But we need to get a power source. Follow the wire. Head down here. Drop in. Battery up. And like off to the laboratory. Like I mentioned last time, if we're not in the ship, I don't think it'll take any damage. But let's... What was that? Oh, the door opened up. That was the noise. Okay. Anyway, we have a message here. Under Dust Research Laboratory. Our lab stand, which I guess is like a platform, fell into the smog. The mounts broke off and all the equipment went down. All the tools, including our only virus sample analyzer, people were lost. We need to assemble a team to try to recover the most precious things. There are few volunteers because it's impossible to breathe down there. The filters and the masks clog up after a while. Fortunately, we have a prototype oxygen bottle that lasts longer. We still need the hand extractor to get through the debris. I pray we don't hear those voices out there again. Those voices are talked about a lot, though I've never heard them simulated in the game. This is an elevator with a new version of the printer called an organic 
printer. Organic med kit, empty bottle, small oxygen tank. So it gives us a different set of blueprints in here. Uh, crossbows, things we're going to need when we're there. Organic med kit is made out of dust daisy, whereas the other one was made out of... Oh, I forgot what they were. That, that chili, what have you, and the... Yeah, the two other two plants. You are an oxygen bottle. And we should... I don't remember where the... Oh, I don't remember where the blueprint is. Yeah, there's a blueprint somewhere that gives us a slightly larger oxygen bottle because this oxygen supply is not going to last very long. And these, you, you kind of think, well, what's supposed to be stored in here? Why are these empty containers here? And I don't think we can scan them. Oh, we can. Okay. But it doesn't give us anything that we can use or, or make on our own. But it is a storage point inside the elevator for what you're bringing in from underneath the dust. And you can't make it all fit at one time in here. So it's kind of a, a staging point. But this is really interesting. We're in an elevator with a window. We're up you know, 400 meters or what have you above the ground. And we're going down. And there's quite a view down there as we get down to the dust layer. And then inside the dust layer... And at some point, the game does a major reload right there. Though, this is a pretty beefy computer, so I should be able to uh, handle it. Now we're down to the... Getting close to the ground level and what is actually down under the dust. Which is toxic. So that we cannot breathe here. This elevator is... Oh, hello. Is uh, a source of oxygen. Allows printing the most necessary items for exploration. I don't know if we can make our own version of this up on our ship or not. Let's put this guy away. <clears throat> well, I guess I'll leave it out. It does flag us when there's something to scan like that thing right over there that we've been waiting for many episodes to get. The energy crystal. It gives us a crystal battery, upgraded charger, and an energy crystal fuel. Which is even more so than the helium fuel in potency. Um, so we can go out for a limited amount of time, come back in, drop off supplies, go back out again. And it is quite a maze in here. Okay, toxic gases we can't breathe in here. And don't need the drink, the dirty water. Let's leave our empty bottles for something we're going to find later. Here is, won't let us scan it, a dust daisy. Which I'm trying to remember what that is capable of. The dust daisy is involved in another oxygen tank, which we don't need. We'll convert the one that we have. Uh, it's, it's involved in this guy, too. And it seems like there's... Oh, there is another use for it. I won't pick any more. The one is enough. And oxygen, you see down bottom middle of the screen, 95, 94, 93. Pop back in, and we reload to 100. So as long as we can find our way back, and they do make it fairly easy... Follow the arrows to uh, to safety. Sign for the laboratory. In other words, turn this direction. There's a lot of stuff down here. You can make an energy battery, which you load into these guys, and it will be a, an oxygen source. And there's several of these scattered throughout this whole area. So you can go to those, drop in a battery, and be able to get catch a breath, rather than running all the way back to the elevator to do it. We're in here now. Not going to be here long because we're going to be needing air soon, but we can at least take a look around. I... One? There we go. Can't take... Can't get a picture of that. There's a transformer. First aid kits. He coughs at the 50% mark. So that lets you know kind of your, your timer there. And if he had the hand extractor, you'd be able to pull all the materials out of here. Though it's kind of a waste of a battery, to be honest. You know, you can get those materials up top. Full breath again, go back out. So we're going to grab energy crystals and then go back up and make that hand extractor. So we're going to have to do this in several phases. But let's take a good look at what's around here. Hop the ladder, go up onto this level. We've got a... Not going to tell us, it's a... That's not something I can... No, I thought it was something I could pull off there. I can't. Okay. Back to you. Looking around here. 
energy crystals over there. Let's go out over there. We'll grab those. Uh, drop. There we go. And got some more darts or for our our uh, what you might call it, our bolts. And follow the arrows and go back and get air. So at first it's a little annoying how little time you've got, but we will be able to get other ways to do it. Open. Whether it's a bigger oxygen tank, polymer, or supplements, we'll call them, or something that you can take that will <clears throat> give you the ability to hold your breath a little longer. But that's much further into the game. Boy, a lot of plastic down here. Another transformer. So, this first round really is just kind of getting used to the idea of being in this environment. Collecting those energy crystals so we can go build tools that we need. We're coming down to the halfway point. Nope, we're not. So let's go a little further. Uh, I guess it's here. And run and jump. Is there a reason we're doing this? I guess to get to this side of that barrier. Okay. Oh, I didn't quite grab that. There we go. Grab these. That one. Over the barrier as you're getting desperate for oxygen. You start to hallucinate. And we can speed up a little and get in here. And we're in. Whew. It refills instantly, so... It's not a long gasping phase, thank goodness. <laughs> um, water, yeah, let's, let's drink this guy. He doesn't, uh, and yeah, we'll do that, and we'll get one more. Okay. Um, actually, I guess I'm not going to need these empty bottles for a while yet. It'll be the next trip, so I'm glad I didn't bring a whole bunch of those other ones. Toss all of you guys in here. I don't need you right now. Oh, we're out of room. Okay. That's good enough. Go back in. <clears throat> okay. So let's go this way. Let's kind of just clean up all the little stuffs this first round. Getting a sense of what's here, how it all works. Don't need any more of those. We've been here. We went up. We went across. I think we can... Oh, missed you. wonder if I can do that. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. All right, so this way, anything else in here? You are. Grab you. Any more up above? How do I get to there? Can't jump up there. You come into there from here. Let's do that. Yep, yep, yep. And grab you. Empty bottle. Anticipating you're going to need it. There is a resin that you can collect in here. And it requires bottles. Kind of like that plant oil from the um, uh, the greenhouse that we saw. Alright. <clears throat> so we've been above. We've been through here. We don't need to put a, a crystal battery into this one because we're so close to the elevator. But it'll really be convenient to do that to some of the other ones. There's some more water. Did I bring another food? I did not. So but we've got enough in us to last as far as we're going. You two, you. Anything back over here? Yep, polymer. Another water hiding in there. And strategically, you could leave any foods and waters you find. Didn't want you to find this one, did they? <laughs> but, you know, in case you were to come in and end up like this guy because you forgot to get a drink, um, let's go grab some water and we'll come back and read that data pad. But I do tend to take care of those things before I even leave the ship. So I don't, I'm don't. i not going to worry about leaving them behind. And there are more than just this one elevator. There are several elevators, and I think they'll all be a little different, little different vari variations. All right, the blockades. I'm so close. If I could only somehow make those metal walls above disintegrate, 
They are way too heavy to lift. I can see that there is something behind them. Ah, that's your little hint. Use your hand extractor that we're going to go make soon and take away things like... Oh, where is a good one? Right here? Yeah, this opens up a hole. Let's you into a room. No, it doesn't. There's another blockade somewhere like that. Let's grab some air while we're here. And anything else that I can... I can add to that pile. I can add those and those. Okay. All right. Let's continue this direction. I'm glad I've got our computer voice turned down a little bit because she warns you as often as he coughs, coughs and gasps for air. So it gets a little annoying after a while. So you got stuck. You couldn't get out the blockades and you didn't make it. That's what I'm getting there. Or old... Coca-Cola. Under the, this area here, anything? Yep. Boy, there is. Lots of plastic. Good. Oh, boy. Now, plastic isn't... Why did I switch over? I don't know. Must have... Oh, that's a 4, and E is what collects the plastic, and they're next to each other. So I must have bumped it. Um, what was I saying? I don't know, but there's another plastic up there. Hmm there. What was I saying? Hmm. Nope. That memory's gone. Oh well. I have to grow a new brain cell. Back out. <laughs> Maybe about her warning me every single time that you walk out of that elevator. Okay, up in here, another transformer, which is good. Transformers are kind of expensive to make. They, ooh, out there is a bunch more plastic. Jump, duck, unduck, jump to that. Anything else we need to do? Let's think about this. There's a plastic scrap jammed into there and into there. Ah, they thought they were cute, weren't they? Um, there's those guys over there. Okay, let's think about this. Run, chef, jump. Oh, oh. And then control a little many buttons. Ah, made it. You, you, both of you, you. And I think that's it. Need air. Need air. Okay. So I think we've gathered most of what we need. But let's go ahead and just continue exploring a little bit more. So we've been to all of these, been across there, but we didn't get any further because that's where we ran out of air. Don't need water. We got it on the ship. I can get you. Almost. There. Okay. Um, down around in here. Yep. Polymer. You. There's something in here. There is something in there. No, nope, maybe not. Maybe that's just a plant. Okay. So we could not have gotten into there if we wanted to. I missed the plastic last time, but that's fine. We got a lot of it. Uh, oxygen's at half. Most of the rest of what we're going to do is out this way. That's where we would drop a battery. That's where it would be beneficial. The rest of it is out this way. And there's a lot to see over there. So let's go back. Let's go up and make that battery make the a couple of batteries and the extraction tool and that will make the rest of this much better um, let's let's get going and I want to watch this as it goes up although I need do need to be emptying that uh, that storage container of all of our stuff but it's quite a uh, quite a show out there see what used to be this version of earth now we're above the dust. Nice clear day. No more storm. And you can see all of the platforms out there. Is that the one we just came from? Did we? No, we've got the battery off of it. Must have been another one off somewhere. Maybe we came. Yeah, we came from over here. Okay. So let's grab all of this that we can. A lot of it will stack. You guys won't. I want to bring at least you. So let's leave those and bring these okay we got plenty of of ammo right now <clears throat> off we go 
grab a meal, grab a drink. And get ready to do this again. Okay. No lightning storm. Uh, we're full, so there's no grabbing food just yet. What does it take to... Hand extractor. Uh, we just needed the energy crystal left, and we now have it. So get you going. And... I want to say, yep, yeah, you guys are there. And I would eat all of these rations, uh, but our food is rotting, so we gotta got to grab it now. So let's just do that. You, 23 hours left on you. Um, toss you both in there. We can recook. Yeah, let's do that now. Yeah, I hate when I accidentally click twice. There we go. You go in there. You're full of water. We'll cook the rotten food. It'll give us 15 food to the good. Out of a battery. Can I do that from here? These guys are kind of in the way. And I want to get that crystal battery researched. Which just takes a crystal. Okay. There was the automatic deck extractor. I didn't realize... That's right. We did find it last time. Yeah. So we need to get that researched. In fact, let's just take a look at that right now. We need a motherboard. Okay. A motherboard takes what to make? It takes three circuit boards and ten copper. Let's make that happen. Circuit boards, uh, there, and copper. Let's get a motherboard going. Okay, let's put away those. Those transformers, yeah, they could be in here, too. We'll do that. Okay. Um, what else is over here? Plastic is up one. And... First aid kits. Let's make that a water. We'll call it water and, and first aid. Something like that. Food is probably closer to our bottle of Coke, which we could drink a couple of these and not sleep. I think I like that. But right now, let's drink some water. Um, we'll drink both and we'll grab this water. In fact, for that matter, in case it rains while we're gone, let's make use of the water that's already here. Wow, that went away quick. So, that last... Oh. It stormed while we were gone. But since we weren't there, it didn't count. Following the same pattern that if we're not there, the lightning doesn't hit us. Okay, you look horrible, but you'll give us 15 food. Alright, just to get you out of the inventory. Uh, water's... Let's toss you guys in there. We'll keep you leaving empty. Don't really need the empties. Let's drop one of you off over in here. Like that, which was meant for these guys, plant oils. And eventually we're going to be able to make the bigger... Uh, is this the upgrade? Yeah. Eventually we'll be able to make the bigger bottle. I don't remember what it took to get to that. Or do we just have to... No, it's not here. Here's... Oh, the soft cushion. We got that for what we're going to find down below. That's right. So energy crystal fuel I'm not going to mess with right now. It's not necessary. Uh, this guy... Yeah, let's grab the motherboard. And let's make that happen. I was editing last time and thought, you know, I should have finished that episode with actually building and installing this thing. That was kind of the, the big milestone of the, of the whole episode, and I didn't do it. All right, so you are now in here. So let's put together the extractor first, transformer and crystal battery. So let's put together a crystal battery first, right here, plastic. Need to make probably three of those. Plastic is here. We'll grab a whole stack of that and get you going. And while you're running, I don't remember how long that is. Well. Probably not so much for that one. When we get to the bigger one, it'll take a long time to make. And I can go get some sleep then. But let's get you going. And... Oh, let's see. We don't need more foods right now. We do need to plow through a bunch of these just to make space. Um, this guy. You're good for another day and 14 hours. Is there anything yet that requires that? There is not. So we haven't gotten to the point where we're actually going to use that. Upgrade tool charger. 
takes a an energy crystal and a transformer and I thought it took a tool charger. Oh, this is the research. To make it, it takes a regular tool charger, which is where in this ship over there. And it'll turn it into one that the energy crystal batteries will operate. Um, we were working on this guy, so now I need transformers. And I needed at least two of them. Let's grab the whole stack. So first one goes here, the hand extractor, which... Uh, we'll drop into space 5 down there. There it is. So now we can go through and extract by hand. Same thing you would be doing with this guy. But we can, in fact, even look similar, huh? Yeah, it looks very similar. But now you can do it inside of a room where the deck gun can't reach. So turn you off. And I wanted to make what? Let's see, this guy. Needed a transformer, needed a circuit board, and 10 electric elements. Do we have the electric elements? We have 20. Good. And that guy... Is that it? Uh, circuit board. Okay, grab that stack. And make you. Eventually, I would make two of them. You're the one that's going to take a while. So let's... I should put this door over on the other side. It's a long walk. Okay, you finish, and we got a little bit of sleep back in. But eventually, I would put you here. Um, there we go. I would put one on each side toward the front. I put one, like, right over here, in the same spot over there. Then as we're traveling, you can have these turned on, and they'll be hitting, or taking out the floating debris that's trying to swing in and smash our... Our cab window. I hate when I take damage when driving. These should help shield us from that. But until then, um, let's go over here. And there's more of our water. There we go. Good. Let's grab three. Drop you in right here. And drop in a battery. And we can turn you on and off. But he right now is searching for anything within range. And apparently there was a metal plate right back in there there I am and you just clean that out anything floats by though nothing will float by here we're way up in the air so over here they're all down below so we are well above all the floating debris right now but you can turn this guy off and save your battery because he will just keep hitting anything that floats by whether you need it or not but we'll turn him on and I don't think it'll harm the battery while it's not being used. Okay, so that guy is up and running. There is an automatic version of it. Let's see, does this show up in the upgrade yet, or do I need to find that? Uh, I guess I need to find it. It'll show up in here. And that's one thing that just arrived with the new update. It will have a little display right here and allow you to choose whether you want this compartment to be metal or synthetic or glass or copper. You can choose what it is that you want this guy to actually be hunting for. Then you can turn it off when you're not in use. So, kind of like this guy. He, with the upgraded version of this, he'll drop down, catch something, come back up on its own, and then just leave it sitting here with the prey waiting for you to, to, to collect it. Rather than having to run over there to bring it up. Now, I don't have that one yet, either. I do. Yeah, let's do that, too. That sh I should have done that last time, as well. Three epoxy... And five machine parts and an insect catcher. Okay, so epoxy. Grab you. Machine parts. Grab you. And this guy. So we're going to need to pull the, the lure out of it. And Q. And we can unceremoniously walk around with it in our face. Just to, just to get here. All right, you're going to do that. You're going to take a long time, too, so let's get a little more sleep. Printing completed. There we go. So you are ready to go. Now we have an automatic insect catcher. Later, we'll have two of them. Got two cookers, two insect catchers. Load them both, send them down, bring them up. Load them both, send them down, bring them up. And we'll have a, two or three of these guys stacked above it, and... And a couple of refrigerators here, and I think we'll have a nice-looking kitchen. 
but that's not today. <laughs> okay, so we got the hand extractor to go back down. We've got some backup. No, we've only got one backup battery. Let's get a second backup battery. This guy we may as well cook. We're not going to be able to do anything with it yet, so let's get some use out of it before it goes away. While well, you reload you, put all of this stuff away, clear our inventory. And uh, that's all there. You, 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 and where like, we have an empty box over here. Let's put stuff that we find from this mission there. Knife goes back in place. Um, let's put the building tool. Let's leave that behind. You are you our miscellaneous? You're our miscellaneous. Though you guys probably should be over here. Yeah, the food, but there really isn't room. And yeah, we'll do that and we'll do that. Okay. Uh, first aid I do have on me. Okay. I thought about that. I should probably have some first aid on me all the time, but that's right. I do. Um, never did this though. Let's. Requires an empty bottle? I don't have an empty bottle. Let's swap that water out so we can swap the other things out. Bottle did land here. Okay. Grab you so we can dump you. Yeah, now we have an empty bottle. So, toss you. You go there. Oops. Drink both of you. Now we still have an empty bottle. Okay. That noise was what? I just... Oh, that was a cooker. Okay, so you are there, and I actually could use you. So, I forgot to see what you were before. You're 20 food cooked. It must have been 10 food uncooked. So, your purpose was not so much for uh, nutrition. It was meant to build something with it. And there's another purpose coming up for it, too. Once we get to the lab, that'll start to make more sense. But, we are in pretty good shape. Let's drink a Pepsi. <laughs> um... Let's see, control, click, gets us one. There we go. Watch the that guy over there, and we just gave us a little energy boost. We're pretty good now. Oh, we need one more battery. So give me one more crystal, which is up here. Control. There we are. Battery is back over here. Oh, need plastic. And a stack of plastic, a battery. And put the plastic away. So, after all that, we only have four plastic left? Wow. I went to the wrong place. There we go. thought that was odd. Okay, that's more like it. You are not done yet. How is the fuel going? 21 fuel and 49 fuel. Do we have biofuel hiding anywhere? We do not. Let's make one real quick. That takes 10. Biofuel takes 10 biomass and 5 clean water. That finishes off our clean water. Put the biomass back. And let's grab some clean water. We'll toss that little one in there. Now we've got replacement water, this guy. So that we don't take off next time and then, you know, undramatically suddenly just run out of fuel. And there you are. Toss you in, and you're good. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Got two batteries. Oh, got our gun, our knife. We don't need the builder. That's where I was going for. You can go away. You can take its place. So this is my scanner, and number two slots for whatever else we typically are doing at the moment. Whether it's shipbuilding or on an away mission with the extractor. Okay. That battery that we... Uh, there we go. That battery that we use for the elevator is good for the entire trip. <clears throat> and the batteries that we use for the oxygen down below, the crystal batteries, those will also be one-time, good-forever kind of a thing. I would imagine we could come back to this place if we wanted to and they would still be valid. I'm not sure, but... There doesn't seem to be any sense of usage when you use them. They don't they don't degrade or, or lessen their their voltage like 
happens in the uh, battery charger or some of the other equipment that you put batteries into. So I have those left and we're ready to go. So two is the extractor. Pull that out now. So now we can extract on the fly, but that actually wasn't that beneficial. Okay, we can get to here by going around the elevator. Somewhere in here though, there is a spot where that would really help. And I thought it was really close to the entrance here, but I guess it's not. Now, there's three or four different directions we can go from there. So it just wasn't these. So we miss anything? Kind of a last chance for this area to look around. I'm not going to bother extracting anything else in the area. Okay, let's grab some air. All these things we can get elsewhere. You don't need to waste the battery in this extractor, which then wastes another battery to recharge it. So, we have been above. We've done all of this. Let's look out into here now. So from here... We cannot get over. No point in grabbing that. We can peek through to see... No, that's not an area we can go to. Over in here we've got some energy crystals. We can duck under, get back into here. Polymer, water. Oh, another crystal battery. Good. They they got ready in case you uh, forgot to bring a battery and we're about to suffocate. So I think we're good here. Can't climb that. Though it may be that we need to take that out so we can get out through that doorway or something later. Not sure. Uh, 34 in the oxygen. Another one of these just sitting here. You were behind that metal plate. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't need you right now, but toss you in there and let's just eat you and drink you just to clear those spaces out. Um, toss that behind. Leave that. Leave that. Don't need them. Okay. To get behind the elevator, we actually go this way. From here, we get access to a lot more. Over here is where we would probably drop our first battery. And then we can just E and get oxygen. But that green bar never goes down. It stays at 100%. And it may be just because we are so close to early access and they're giving new players a break and as the game gets closer to full release these kind of things will start to count down or maybe a much higher difficulty rating maybe that's it this plant doesn't like you you don't want to go there and we can scan them we can this plant activates its defense mechanism when sensing a temperature close to that of the human body. It does not react to lower temperatures. And they really went far out of their way to tell you that. So, that is your hint. Yeah, 50% he about dies. These guys, Colander. I'm surprised we haven't scanned that. That was on the greenhouse platform is used filters water from air advised to boil before consumption i believe he is involved in building the bigger um oxygen tank so we can go back and grab this all that we want and not deplete it at least at the i went for the easy difficulty i wasn't uh trying to prove anything by <clears throat> doing a more difficult playthrough Come on now, stay there. Turns out one of the biggest differences in the difficulty of this game is really just how often you have to eat and drink. The demo when I played it, I was really disappointed in the game because I spent all of my time uh, fishing for moths and trying to find water. And it wasn't fun. You see, it, the survival part of it was just too extreme. All of your time was just spent, and it ran out so quickly. 
and turns out on the easier mode you don't have to deal with that so much and you can just spend your time enjoying the game so I decided to do that instead a lot of canned water around here come on give it to me there we are now anything up higher maybe I'm scaring them with the knife <laughs> don't see anything else over here. We need to get back to oxygen soon and watch this guy. He will he'll get you. Okay. Oxygen is over here. We came from there. Over here. We cleaned that out. Didn't miss anything. So this room is done. We need to go down there next. But there are plenty of other things yet to explore, so we're not we're not there yet. I miss any kind of barriers that were hidden behind a uh, uh, a metal wall or anything. No, not there. Okay, and here we've got one or two more things to collect behind there, but not critical. Okay, let's go back to the elevator, drop off supplies, and take another route. So, dropping you guys off. You two? Yeah, we'll drop you off for now. I'll drink you later. Okay, so... We went out that way. We went back that way, but we did not go back this way, right? Nope, that's not a way. It was... Back over here. That was the other pathway. So more bolts we really don't need. We'll grab more water that we really don't need. <laughs> more energy crystals that you can never find enough of. Well, actually you can, but... Okay, there's another way down, another angry plant. And... What else is around here? Back here, you, you look like a barrier that will open a door to us. Yep, right there. Oxygen's getting low. Is there an ox? Ooh, we're not going that way. Okay, let's go find some oxygen. Uh, let's see here. You? Yeah, let's fire you up. We'll spend some time in this area, so that's fine. Um, am I up or down? Right there, and turn you off. Okay, and let's turn you on. Anything that I should have scanned and have not. Hello. You are an oxygen refill station. Replenishes oxygen rever reserve. Breath. Okay. Um, can't get through that, though it sure looks like it was meant to. No. Can't go there. Don't need any more of these plants yet. And... Nothing else to see here, right? Right. Plastic just hiding up there like it's part of the transformer. Okay, so we can't get into there, though we could sneak over and grab these. I think you've got to actually touch it for him to beat you up. Okay, so we're done here. Now, there is a way to get to the lab. I need to do that next. I just got to figure out how that is. This might be part of it right here. Okay. Polymer, first aid. Uh, can I reach in and get anything? No. Are you something just under the ground? No. Okay. So, more oxygen. Put you away, turn you back on. Anything in there to scan? No. We have metal. Anything back in here to scan? No. Okay. So it's none of these. So let's grab some oxygen. Let's go back in. You... We couldn't. Alright. This guy... Nope, that's the wrong one. We'll grab some oxygen while we're here. So nothing in here to scan. But you look interesting. Anything else above? Watch out for him. 
Yeah, he's angry. What are those bulbs up there? Meteor vine, a heavy intrusive plant with edible fruit. Takes a knife for a crossbow. Interesting. So let's crossbow you. Boom. Uh Did I miss something? <laughs> like I uh, got gypped. Ah, there you are. Okay. Oxygen. You. A meteor bean, an edible plant that has evolved under the dust. When cooked and eaten, it releases potassium. In all capital letters. Apparently that's important. And that's it. So you, the same? Uh, one. Yep, you're a meteor vine. Okay. Anything else in here? You different. No. Okay, so let's... I need to start looking for lab signs. I think I know where I've, where I've missed it. But is there anything else to do around here while we're waiting? I want to go back, get oxygen from the elevator and start from scratch. Seems like there is a ladder or something that we didn't take. I've got one battery left. Um, anything to drop off? I don't need you. You give me five food. You're good for 14 hours. Let's grab a second bin, drop you guys off. Um, you as well, although I think I could have combined some of those, but Food and water is fine for now. Let's go to... See the lab sign here? That's what I missed right there. <clears throat> okay, from here... Lab is there. Around. Grab all of those. Something just happened. Explore the area under the dust. I guess that satisfied something. Let's get back over here. There's lots to grab, but I want to get to this guy. Okay, now let's go clean this area out. Ah! You're the wrong tool. There we go. That looks important. Ah! The lab is that way. Okay. Okay. So what else is floating in around here? No, apparently I cannot jump on that. Almost! Not quite. Grab these two. We'll leave those. Nothing back behind. Nothing above. Something up there. Oxygen. Grab you. Another area just opened up to us. Get some oxygen. And we left those on purpose. There's you over there. And that's going to be a barrier at some point. So let's open that up. And you guys might as well, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, I know Half-Life 2 and what it means when there's boxes stacked. Not sure where I'm going, but... Aha! Oxygen! <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Let's turn you off so you're not in my face. Jump on you, on you, and run and jump. And... Where am I? Over here? Run and jump! There we go. And I have no more batteries. Oh, I should have sprinted and jumped. Hmm. Okay, well, apparently home is that way. I want to go make a few more batteries. Wait a minute, can I do that from here? Um, from the fabricator in the elevator. Is that a thing?
It is not a thing. Boy, you'd think it would be. You really would. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go up and make a few more batteries. So I can go deeper in and not worry about it. I know you can find one or two yet, but it just makes the experience more fun when you're not so stressed out waiting. You know, hoping that you're gonna make it before everything goes goes bad. Grab everything out of here. Okay. Oh, okay, we were loading. That's why everything stalled. And we'll go cook those fruits that we just got. See what they're all about. And I guess get some more rest. Boy, a lot of lag now. We're loading in a brand new map. And this running and running out of stamina thing is annoying, so I want to go settle that before we explore any further. Okay, so... Quick check of inventory. Cooked and eaten releases potassium. Doesn't... I can't tell if there's another use for that or not. So let's just put you in. Boil you. Grab a drink. And... Put the rest of you in there. You are over here. Gives us ten again. So we can make another fuel or... There was something else, I think a lure, that required 10 biomass. Uh, let's make another three or four batteries. That's plastic, so I have enough plastic to make two. I think that will be enough. Uh, plastic, get rid of you. Polymer, metal. Metal's in there. Polymer was landing here, but we don't have enough room now. Okay, grab you, let's make another one. Um, let's see. Let's... Hmm. We'll just grab those, so we can put the polymer in there. And we will put you guys and you guys Printing all in completed. there. Okay. Printing completed. And miscellaneous... We'll drop more of those guys in there. Alright, batteries. Two and one. I guess that's a bare minimum there. Food-wise, what do we have? We're going to go through... Oh, let's grab the one we just made. Okay, what are you now? So 1020 and 10 health. So pretty much everything doubles. With a few exceptions when you, when you boil them. So let's eat you. That helped us. Energy as well. Okay. Alright, so let's... Um, let's... I may be too high to f fish to to use this guy. I think I am. So we'll just depend on a couple of these. And in that case, I can get you back where you belong. And let's grab a nap. Okay, so that's done. Drink. And eat. And we are ready to go. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Two batteries ought to do it. We could have probably gotten by without using one of those other batteries. But it's not necessary. Okay, if we sprint until we get the bar down to about there. We don't go through all of the dramatics. We can get a little more. There we go. Send you in and go. Nothing was left in these. Good. I still can't believe there's no battery, crystal battery in here. Okay, loading screen. End of the flashing lights. Now we're down below. And here we are. Okay, so we are heading for the lab. Which is here. And around. And I want to 
say... No, nope, this is all new. This isn't where I thought I was going. So we still haven't found the lab. <laughs> Let's grab some air. <sighs> Topped off. It was down a long walkway. This guy. Okay. Uh huh. So from here, another crystal battery. That's the one that I figured was here somewhere, but I wasn't sure. So I didn't want to risk it. And we may be missing quite a few things. We'll skip him. Jump. So this supposedly was a platform that dropped from way above. Yet it's still pretty much intact for having dropped like that. There, that's where I want. And fill up. Okay. So, in here. Examine the virus carrier. Eh? Craft virus sample analyzer on the ship. Explore the laboratory. Okay. Scanner, scan you. You are new life forms. The dust has changed the world. It's amazing that new species have evolved so quickly. We should study them. Maybe that way we can stay here longer. We just need a virus sample to craft a booster. It would also be useful to look for something for those heat-sensitive weeds. Hint, hint. <laughs> so, this guy analyzes... Actually, it doesn't say. Ah, oh, another battery. When you're desperate and just about to die, and there's your salvation waiting for you. A couple of you... And you! The virus sample analyzer. Extracts viruses from organic materials. Allows further study on other devices. So that... Oops. Is why we need... Those fruits. We will build this guy and be able to put different organic material into it. It will analyze it searching for a virus and a cure or something along those lines. But otherwise, I think that is the majority of the lab. Can't... Don't need to get in that way. Oh, there's another ladder. Okay. So, back up. There we are. Get more air. Let's go further up. Up here we have not much. Canned water. Boy, they, they love their water. An old food ration. Okay. And nothing behind. No barriers to extract. Okay. We'll just drop down into there. Go back here, grab some more air. And head down lower, or is there anything else I can do up here? Is there anything that we missed running quickly to uh, jump? No, nope, I can't. There we go. Get onto that. That doesn't really help. Okay, I can get onto that platform. I can get onto that. Okay. So in that case, let's just grab one more gulp of air. Am I crouched again? I am. <sighs> Alright, you. Let's go down. And... There. There. That's where I came in? I think so. Across here. Nothing else. Anything else to scan? Am I scanning? There's the scanning. Okay, nothing else to scan. Back across this bridge with the plastic sitting right there in the, in the crane, or what do you call that? The Yeah, that word has escaped me. Anything else around here? And where is my next oxygen? That was on this level, right? Like right 
there, there. Okay, back in here. We've been here, we left the crossbows. We came from there, but we... That's down... Should be arrows on the floor, right? Thinking that's down close to the elevator. We just never looked up and noticed this place. Okay, so I think we're kind of explored out up here. Let's make sure that there was nothing more. There's the top of the elevator to give you some bearing of where we are. We don't need the water. And over here. So, was this where there was a metal barrier and we hit it from the ground? Why can't I not? There we go. So we have here. We have a cross. We have another ladder. That doesn't work. Oh, hello. Um, three. Whoa, look at you. That's what that was. Okay. And you go further down. Where do you go? But for now, let's just go get some air. Yeah, I'm only at halfway, so I'm fine. Okay. Well, that was quite productive. Let's drop... Let's eat you, drink you, toss everything else. Go back out. Okay, so we still can't get past the plants. But is there anything else? So we went up here and came out over there. Is there anything else that we missed? We were kind of in a hurry to get to that first oxygen place. Which... is over here. Okay. So, we have seen it all. We have. But I want to say there was something else further up in the air. Just not sure what... No, we stopped there? Let's see. Nothing there. Okay, that's all the same thing. Crossbows, they were shooting up here. And there's an exclamation point. Interesting. Kind of stalling because somewhere in this place is a way to get to the bigger oxygen tank. I'm just trying to remember how that worked. Okay, I need oxygen. It was somewhere up high. Whoa. I can't get to it from there, but we can get into there because there's stuff to collect. So how is that done? It's not here. How do we get into that room? Hmm. There's no jumping across to anything. something, but I kind of need to breathe. So let's... There we go. Let's give this a try. I guess I was on to that before, but when it didn't land properly, I thought maybe it wasn't a thing. It is really hard to mount this thing. There we go. Now where does this go? That way is nothing. That way is kind of nothing too. I can't get through this. So this might just be a random place. 
though I'm not sure. It led us to a can of water. <laughs> Can't go any higher. Hmm, we can get on this roof. Oh, and that gets us up here. Whoa. And about now we're going to be panicking about uh, finding water. Or finding oxygen. Okay. Grab all of you and you. And walk across you. Yeah. This was probably something that would have been better... <clears throat> Yeah, if I had had the bigger oxygen tank. So it's probably time to go back and get that going, because I'm getting dangerously low. That's over here. There we are. So let's go back and make use of what we found already. Which, let's see, how long have I... I've been recording for an hour and 15 already? Whoa! That's no good. Do we want a two-hour episode? I don't think we do. I think we're going to make this two episodes in this one place. Really, truly explore everything. Home is this way. Yeah, this game is really hard to turn off. I could play this one for hours and hours and hours and hours. And not even notice the time. Okay, let's grab all of you guys. And well, next time we come in, we'll grab plant samples. Though I should have grabbed at least one sample, but... Oh, well, next time we'll do that. But let's get back to the ship and wrap this one up. Uh, out of there. We're good. We're good. And it is nighttime. Looks like middle of the night. Oh, it's raining also. So I'll probably start thundering and lightning as soon as I get here. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and gather some more waters. Run those through the system. There we go. And I think we'll call this one done. Next time we'll, we'll build that virus scanner and figure all of that out, then go back down and find something to scan. When we do, we'll find a way to get past the, the heat-detecting plants. So, this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.